I'm assuming that you have a basic understanding of PostGIS and Postgres database, but if you haven't, then there's a lot of content online that you can look up. So today we're going to take a polygon layer, we're going to import it into a database, PostGIS database, and then we're going to perform a query directly from QGIS. So I have my local DB set up, I have my local schema here, and I have my polygon layer here. It's a cadastral parcels of the island of Bornholm. And first off, we're gonna go into the DB manager. We're gonna navigate to our schema, local DB, local schema. We're gonna say import layer and file, find the cadastral parcels, give it a name, a table name, uh, a primary key, geometry column, reference system, encoding, and if there is a table with the same name in the database, we're going to replace it, convert field names to lowercase, that's best practice, and create a spatial index. We're going to click OK and see what happens. Alright, so our import was successful. We're going to load it directly to our canvas, and we can see here it's the same as the brown. To query our directly in our database, we're going to go to our database, DB Manager again. And from here, you can see there's a small button called SQL Window. Or from the database, uh, choose SQL Window. Go in here, and here we can do a query directly in the PostGIS database. We can, we can do select, let's do ID, and the parcel ID from and we're going to put this in double quotes, uh, uh, local schema, and uh, table. We're going to see what comes up. All right, so we have two columns. And uh, let's do a where clause, where we only choose 48G. For right now, we have all the data. Let's do a where. equals 48G. All right, so we have two features. We can load this in as a new layer, give it a prefix, and load it in. All right, so we forgot about the geometry column. Let's get that in there. So I'm going to say like this, and our GM. So we have our column. I'm going to load it in as well, again. And now we have queried our polygon data directly from QGIS into our PostGIS database, and we found these two parcels. 